Managing Ad Hoc Recordings. As an agent, I have a call coming in in just a little bit. I want to make sure that I can record it because it's very important that I go back and I listen to it again to get all the details about the potential sales I could. I'll show you how to do that, how to record the recording, how to pause the recording as well, and where that recording goes into your email and how can we forward that email with the recording once we receive that email. As you can see at the top of my screen in the queue, it shows that I'm on a call already for about 26 seconds and it shows that I'm connected. I'm a little bit into this phone call for a potential sale and I realize that I want to be able to record this so I can go back and play and listen to the details again. How I record the call is just by clicking the record button and it automatically starts the recording for me. If I want to pause the recording, I realize they're talking about something that I don't really need to save, I could choose the pause button and it automatically pauses the recording for me. If I want to unpause it, all I have to do is click pause again and it continues to keep recording for me. That way I'm only pulling the information that I need to save. When I'm done with the call, I'm going to go ahead and hang up. And we'll see that the call's been hung up or I could stop recording if needed. And then that call is going to be sent to my email. And I'll show you where that is. You can see that in my inbox, I have one new email. It looks like it's my voicemail from the call recording I just did. I'm going to go ahead and click on it. On the right-hand side of the screen, you can see all the details from the local name, the remote name, the remote number, classification, and call direction and line name. Where's my recording? I'm going to go ahead and click on the attachment and open the file. Once it's open, it automatically begins to play. So I'm going to go ahead and click the pause button. From here, this is where I could play the recording, I could stop the recording, fast forward, rewind, turn up the volume, speed up the recording, slow it down. It allows me to be able to hear the voicemail that was, was, that was recorded earlier. I'm going to go ahead and X out. From here, I can automatically forward this email if needed by clicking the forward button at the top. From here, I'm going to go ahead and add in who I'm sending this email to by putting in the two. The subject that already pulls forward the, the particular call recording, and it includes the WAV file from earlier that we had recorded. From here, all I have to do is click send. When I click send, the supervisor or my manager or another coworker will be able to listen to this voicemail as well to be able to hear the parts and pieces that they need to listen to to be able to make that sale. Hopefully now it'll be a little easier to be able to manage your ad hoc recordings.